250 kilograms of FESAS was reacted by decomposition uh, following the reaction FESAS makes FES plus arsenic. If 95.3 kilograms of arsenic was produced, what was the percent yield of arsenic? So, this question, you be careful. There's two numbers, so you might be tempted to simply say, well, this is 95.3 all over 250 times 100, and I am done. Uh, however, that's not the case. It's not 250 grams, uh, it's not the theoretical amount uh, or kilograms of arsenic that's being produced. Uh, it's That's how much of our starting compound that we want. So, be careful here. In this case, we have an actual amount of uh, arsenic that was produced. We know that. That's the actual. If it was produced, uh, what's the percent yield? So we're assuming that that is uh, what we put on a scale and weighed. What we don't have is the theoretical yield of arsenic. And how we get that is we need to use stoichiometry. I'm not going to go through all the steps of stoichiometry to figure that out um, from using the mass of this to find the mass of that. However, uh, if you want to look at the stoichiometry example and then come back and try to get this number yourself, uh, then uh, you can see where this comes from. So I'll tell you the answer. Uh, the theoretical... Uh, yield here if I use stoichiometry to figure out how much arsenic I should have got starting from 250 kilograms of this I should get 115 kilograms of arsenic so the percent yield then is simply going to be the 95.3 all over 115 times 100 and you get 82.8 percent so this one I only do as an example so that you see that you can't just take two numbers and assume that they're the ones you want to put into this equation uh, in this case you did need to do some stoichiometry in order to figure out the theoretical yield of arsenic uh, be careful here too this is in kilograms instead of grams so you need to convert this into grams in order to do your uh, stoichiometry there so you should give that a try yourself the answer that you should get is 115 kilograms um, and of course, your answer will be in grams, and that would be 115,000 grams, roughly. Um, so see if you can get that, uh, but if you can't, go look at the stoichiometry example and uh, then try again.